Hey, and welcome to the WordPress warm-up video series. In this video series, you're going to learn how to quickly and easily set up, run, and maintain your WordPress blog effectively. Now, I know that you're very excited to you know, get started, um, but there's a few things that we need to talk about first in video number one, which is the introduction to WordPress in this video. First of all, I want to talk about the quick overview. And then second of all, I want to talk about the tools that you're going to need before you actually get started. I'm a big believer that if you understand the process ahead of time, you're going to be able to implement the whole thing faster and easier. Now, the way I've created this video series is it's a step-by-step, click-by-click video series so that you get to follow me and easily go through the whole process of setting up your WordPress blog. Feel free to pause this video at any time. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to talk about is a quick overview. Video number one is, of course, this video is the introduction to the WordPress warm-up system. And video number two, after you understand, you know, how it all works and what, what tools you're going to need. And video number two, we're going to get everything ready. So we're going to get things ready, for example, the domain name, the web hosting, uh, the FTP, client, you know, getting everything set up so that you can install WordPress easily. Now, video number three and four are about installation. Now, I provided video number three and four as an option. Video number three, we're going to talk about the three-step installation using Fantastical, which is a, a product that is usually attached to cPanel hosting. And the cPanel, which most web hosting companies have, if you have that, then you can use video number three. If you don't, and you want to know how to set up WordPress manually, I actually offer that in video number four as well. So just so that you understand, if you're able to set it up using video number three, you can skip number four. If you're unable to do that in video number three, then video number four is provided to you as an option. Video number five, we're going to talk about the dashboard. We're going to do a walkthrough. After you've installed the WordPress, you log into the administrative dashboard, and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough step by step of the way so that you understand you know, exactly how to use the dashboard, what kind of options are provided inside the dashboard, which is used to control the WordPress platform. Video number six, we're going to talk about themes. If you don't understand what a theme is, theme is basically the look or the design of the website. Fortunately, there are a lot of free themes out there, so it's easy to install, and I'll show you how to find themes and install themes. Video number seven, we're going to talk about plugins. Plugins essentially are little software things, like, you know, software applications that you can add to the WordPress platform to make your life easier, you know, contact forms, you know, Google analytic forms, AdSense forms, and so forth. Video number eight, we're going to talk about how to SEO optimize your blog, meaning how to optimize your blog so that it is search engine friendly with Google, Yahoo, and other search engines. Video number nine, we're going to talk about categories, how to add, delete, how to use categories, how to use links, and more. Video number 10, we're going to talk about widgets. You know, widgets give you the ability to do a lot of different th things and customize a lot of different things. So we're going to talk about that. Video number 11, we're going to talk about blog posts. And this kind of gets into the meat of how to, you know, put up an article or put up some content onto your blog and get it posted and published. And video number 12, we're going to talk about uploading images to your post. So let's say you create a post and you want to add your image or you want to add a specific picture and so forth. You can do that. And I'll show you how to do that in video number 12. In video number 13, we're going to talk about how to add video to your blog posts. Now, those are pretty much the basics. There's a lot of stuff that I could teach you, but I think... For the sake of time and for the sake of trying not to overwhelm you, I think it's best to keep it at that. Now, the second thing I want to talk about are the tools. What exactly, what are the tools you're going to need? 
and how much money are you going to have to invest. You don't have to invest a lot of money, fortunately, but you do need to have WordPress. You can, for video number three and four, if video three does not work for you, then you're going to need to have good download WordPress. And I'll show you how to do everything and all of that later on. The second thing you're going to need is a domain name. You can go to Namecheap.com and I'll show you more on that in video number two. You're going to need web hosting, which costs about, you know, $5 or $6 a month. A domain name actually costs about $9 a year. So as you can see, within a monthly cost, you're looking at, you know, $15 up front and $5 each month. So it's not too expensive. Hosting and Creating an email account, you're going to need an email account. I'm going to show you how to create an email account. You're going to need to have some sort of file transfer client software. We're going to use FileZilla FTP client software. You also need to have an idea of what your blog is going to look like in terms of layout, theme, structure. You know, is it going to be a one column blog? Is it going to be have two columns or three columns? What kind of images are you going to have? Just get an idea. You don't have, you don't have to, but it's, it's good if you can think of all of this beforehand and get that, you know, foundation built so that when you're ready to build the WordPress blog, then it's going to be a lot easier. How it will function determines what kind of plugins you're going to need. And then, of course, the goal of it, you know, content wise, what, what, what kind of content are you going to put up? Is it going to be educational content? Is it going to be content that sells something and this and that? So it's, it's good to think ahead so that you can understand, you know, how to get to that end goal and reach that end goal by using this video series. And that's pretty much it for video number one, the introduction to the WordPress warmup video series. And let's move on to video number two and talk about how to get things ready so from here on out it's going to be screen capture only and i'm going to move fast and feel free to pause it at any time but